Killer clown oh, fuck no. Fuck no. The ring doorbell caught the exact moment someone dressed in a clown costume walked up to its front door. Creepers. Watch this again. It's your boy Laser. He's an advisor back some more scary reaction videos. He's been loving the scary content. So I can deliver that for you guys in this video. We're reacting to the most disturbing things caught on doorbell cameras. Those doorbell camera video guys, oh man, oh man. If you guys enjoy the scary content, you guys want more scary videos like this in the future, then simply hit that like button. You subscribe. And you turn notifications on, it takes less than a second. Let's dive straight into this video. Alright, here we go. Apparently this guy's put up just something he did not want to do. Why is he shirtless? This house is captured a man walk up to the front door in the middle of the night. Crack is one hell of a drug. Rather than actually knocking on the door or ringing the doorbell, the man pretends to do so. At first it seems odd, until you realize what's actually going on. Near the left side of the screen, a car's headlights can be seen. It's clear, whoever is driving the vehicle is making this guy walk up and talk to the house owner. Oh shit! Seems a sinister purpose as the guy obviously doesn't want to do it. I mean, so much so that he fakes knocking on the door and even fakes a conversation with the house owner, all the while making sure the driver can see him doing so. Damn. Poor guy. Was he like kidnapped or something? He talks to himself the entire time. Looking to see if the driver can see him. That guy was probably like. From the fake conversation, it's clear the driver wants the man to look for someone named Matt. One common guess the man could have been being forced to rob the place, but didn't want to do it, making him fake the whole situation and claim no Matt lived there. Damn. But to this day, the real motives of the driver are still unclear. They never found out like the full story. That's crazy. That guy must have been like. This footage features a kidnapped. random woman walking up to someone's front door. The woman clearly isn't acting normal, or at least until a car passes where she breaks character so as not to draw attention to herself. After the car is gone, the woman can be seen putting her face right up to the camera. What the fuck, bro? I swear, bro. These people After nowadays watching are weird. the disturbing footage, the house owner would claim he had no idea who the woman was. Most these people nowadays are weird. This doorbell camera video shows the horrifying early stages of a fire Ooh. in a neighbor's property. As the video goes on, you can see as the fire gradually continues to grow. So much so that it eventually reaches the house with the doorbell camera. At the time of the fire, the house owner himself was asleep. Oh shit! He was woken up by multiple notifications on his phone. That boy was... was detected by his doorbell camera. He's about to wake up the guy. The, footage, the house owner would frantically run to get a fire extinguisher and desperately attempt to put the fire out. Get the f bro. How did he not like? They should make these alarms like these doorbell cameras have like kind of like alarms on them, you know? Kind of like how there's a, like the alarms in the house can detect like fire and smoke and shit. They should make like the ones outside. Wait, who's screaming? Is that like the neighbors? God. Oh my god. But after realizing it was too late, the house owner would escape through the house's back door. Dude, it's this guy safe was. To say that the motion detected notifications that woke up the house owner saved his life that night. He's lucky the back of the house was on fire, dude. This Holy video shit. captured a woman frantically knocking on this house's front door. As she continues to do so, she can be seen constantly looking behind her. And that's when you realize why. A man walks up to the woman and proceeds to grab her firmly, telling her to get into the car. All the while, the woman can be heard pleading for him to stop. Oh shit, dude. This is like some abusive type shit. I think I might have seen a video like this before. I don't know. Damn, poor lady. Some abusive type shit. The man
man in the video was later identified to be 20 year old Victor Kucic. Damn, bro. The alien wear shirt. With third degree felony kidnapping. The shirt says it all. Alien wear, bro. <laughs> this ring doorbell starts off showing the house owner simply doing her laundry. Though, before she can even enter the laundry room, she can be seen pausing. And the audio from the clip makes it clear as to why. Wait, so like, did she hear something? Oh. A voice can be heard desperately pleading for help. Though, it's unclear as to where the voice is coming from. She have neighbors? Clearly disturbed, and worried it could have been someone hiding around her property, the woman would end up calling the police. I looked at it. Oh, shit. I don't know about or any cards or anything. So I went back to my ring video to make sure I wasn't just hearing something. Damn, that's creepy. I mean, I might... I can hear somebody saying something, but I can't... Well, I posted it on there. The police would search the whole property, but find absolutely nothing. And to this day, it's still unclear whose voice was talking, or even where it was coming from. That's creepy. This doorbell camera footage seems to have captured an almost transparent looking figure walking across the house owner's property in the middle of the night. The Ooh. figure looks to have no face and seems to slowly become less visible as it continues to move. The audio from the video reveals the noise of very faint footsteps. Oh, what the fuck, bro? It must have been the camera quality, no way, but still, what the fuck? Who the fuck is out at that night? After reviewing the footage and examining around the property, the house owner found nothing out of the ordinary, and it's still unclear what exactly was caught on video that night. It might have been like an animal or some sort, like some shit, but like the, the owner of this house bad. would wake up to a notification on his phone telling him motion was detected. Oh, this psycho lady! And after reviewing the footage, this is what he found. There was an old woman with a knife just standing at his front door, constantly shifting her body weight from side to side. Oh no. The woman can be seen awkwardly holding and looking at the knife, as well as constantly glancing all around her. Oh fuck no. Granny got loose. Granny part three, the neighborhood attack. How many grannies are there? There's two, right? I don't know. Damn bro, like the fact that she's just holding a knife like this grandma. This is someone's grandma, dude. After a few more seconds, the woman finally attempts to ring the doorbell, but seemingly can't bring herself to do it for whatever reason. She wants those cookies. She's trying to rob for some cookies. She has no idea what she's doing. What is she? Yeah, she's on drugs, bro. That cough medicine is fucking her up, you feel me? And after two minutes of footage, it cuts off. It's still unclear who this woman was, or what caused her to walk up to a stranger's front door wielding a knife. Oof, that's crazy. After hearing his doorbell go off, oh, this shit. San Diego house owner would look at his doorbell camera through his phone. And the camera revealed a supposed door-to-door -door salesman waiting outside. The house owner decided to confront the man with the doorbell speaker. And that's when the salesman claimed he was looking for the Robinsons residence at 712. Which was not the house he was at. After being informed of this, the salesman would politely apologize for the mix-up. Is this the, the Robinsons residence at 712? Uh, now you're at the wrong house. It's 721. Oh, oh I apologize for that. Suspicious of the encounter, the house owner would send the footage to the local police department, who, disturbingly, confirmed that this exact man was suspected of breaking into at least 19 homes. Damn, bro! Impersonating a salesman to do so. He looks like a CIA and type person. Yet to be caught by police. Kind of looks like he works for the FBI in a way. I don't know. Likely taking place during the whole killer call. Oh, fuck no! Fuck no! The doorbell caught the exact moment someone dressed in a clown costume walked up to its front door. Dude, the person can be seen no. and slowly walking up to the door, almost the whole time staring directly into the camera. While it's most likely just someone trying to Fuck scare people, no. there's a small chance something Get your more sinister face is going on here. 
Get your fucking weird ass face. Guys, 2016, bro, that was a fucking fever dream. Like, if you... I was in, like, 8th grade during that time, dude. That shit was not real. Like, to think that we couldn't leave our fucking houses not knowing if some clown was gonna lick our balls and shit, dude. Slobber over them. Like, holy crap, dude. These clowns were fucking nuts. And all started because of, like, one clown in, like, a forest. That's crazy, dude. That's actually creepy as shit. I know it's probably some guy playing a prank, but oh my it's god. Sad. It's still unclear whether the house owner experienced anything further regarding the situation. Damn, it's crazy. Well, guys, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Guys, that clown sightings in, like, 2016, that was absolutely terrifying. If you guys enjoyed the scary content and you want more series like this in the future, you guys know what to do, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace!